नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो द साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम मिचोंग एज पर द इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट फोरकास्ट हैज इंटेंसिफाइड इनटू अ सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम टुडे एट 8:30 थर्टी आवर्स आई एंड इज करेंटली सेंटर्ड एट थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री नॉर्थ एट्टी पॉइंट एट डिग्री ईस्ट लॉन्गिट्यूड एंड दिस दिस सेंटर ऑफ द दिस साइक्लोन इज about 100 km northeast of chennai and uh, about uh, 150 km south east of uh, south east of nellore of uh, andhra pradesh and this uh, uh, severe cyclonic storm is uh, likely to uh, cross uh, south andhra pradesh and uh, uh, south andhra pradesh and adjoining north tamil nadu coast uh, uh, as we can see it over here uh, uh, it is likely to cross tomorrow the south andhra pradesh coast uh, between machli patnam and nellore close to bapatala uh, with the intensity of a severe cyclonic storm and at the time of crossing the system will give rise to the uh, maximum sustained surface winds of the order of 9200 to 100 gusting to 1 uh, 110 uh, km per hour and uh, and uh, due to this uh, system as we can uh, uh, see over here uh, so so first of all let me uh, explain a bit about this track so this you can see the the system became a depression on uh, 1st of december at 0 utc and then uh, uh, slightly it intensified into a cyclonic storm on uh, on 0 utc of uh, that is 530 hours ist of 3rd of december and uh, gradually it became a severe cyclonic storm today Uh, at 8:30 hours ist of today and currently it is having uh, maximum sustained surface winds uh, associated maximum sustained surface winds of the order of 85 to 95 gusting to uh, gusting to 105 as we can see here at uh, 4 uh, at uh, 8:30 hours ist of today the system is having 50 not uh, uh, maximum sustained surface winds so under the influence of this system uh, we will discuss about the uh, uh, the the rainfall uh, the uh, rainfall warning and wind warning but first of all let us uh, look into the rainfall occurred over the uh, over tamil nadu uh, especially over tamil nadu the uh, tamil nadu has reported uh, uh, many stations uh, about uh, 50 to 60 stations have reported heavy rainfall out of which extremely heavy rainfall has been reported by uh, 20 uh, 20 to 22 stations as we can see here uh, these are the these uh, these are the uh, uh, stations of tamil nadu uh, especially north coastal uh, tamil nadu and adjoining parts of north interior tamil nadu and these are the districts uh, uh, so the rainfall has the maximum number of extremely heavy rainfall stations have been received by the chennai district uh, where uh, 21 cm 22 23 cm and the maximum rainfall over chennai has been reported uh, uh, by 25 cm Uh, over over chennai and uh, also other districts of tiruvallur and uh, uh, tiruvallur and chengalpattu has also Uh, received uh, uh, has also received extremely heavy rainfall more than 20 cm rainfall during past 24 hours ending at 8:30 hours ist of today so that was about the observation and uh, now uh, as we can see in this uh, this uh, satellite animation that how the the clouds are uh, clouds are moving in this uh, uh, satellite animation uh, we can see in this uh, also in this uh, uh, radar animation as well that uh, uh, how the clouds are moving so here we can see uh, this is the severe cyclonic storm and we can see the the uh, entire cloud uh, band associated with the uh, deep cloud uh, convection is uh, associated with the cyclonic storm is uh, uh, moving no in the uh, almost uh, north north westward direction and is heading towards the uh, heading towards the uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh coast uh, uh, close to Bapatala and it will it will cross the uh, it will cross uh, cross South Andhra Pradesh coast close to Bapatala by tomorrow afternoon with the uh, maximum sustained wind speeds of 90 to 100 gusting to 110 and the uh, clouding associated with this system is currently over uh, north coastal Tamil Nadu over Chennai and adjoining areas but this is likely to shift uh, gradually towards uh, uh, towards uh, the south coastal Andhra Pradesh and here we can see the 
Chennai radar and here we can see the clouds uh, bands uh, moving inside the north coastal Tamil Nadu so now we come over to the to the district wise uh, rainfall warning uh, for uh, uh, if we look into subdivision wise uh, uh, rainfall warning probability so here we can see that uh, today uh, today and uh, tomorrow the uh, the system is about to give uh, extremely heavy rainfall today it is likely to give uh, extremely heavy rainfall over north coastal Tamil Nadu Chennai Tiruvallur and uh, adjoining districts, uh, Chengalpattu districts and uh, tomorrow the rainfall activity over uh, Tamil Nadu would uh, decrease and it will be only having north coastal Tamil Nadu will be having only isolated heavy rainfall but over uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh the rainfall activity would uh, continue uh, today as well as tomorrow uh, because the system is, uh, uh, the cyclone is uh, close to the south Andhra Pradesh coast and it is uh, going to, it is going to uh, become kind of uh, practical stationary close to the coast and therefore would keep on giving heavy down power for next 48 hours so here we can look that uh, uh, how this uh, system is about to give uh, uh, extremely heavy rainfall over the districts of y YSR Kadappa Annamaya uh, Chittur Tirupati uh, Nellore and Prakasham and the districts of Bapatala Krishna West Godavari and uh, and and the adjoining district and also isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over the districts of Nandeyal uh, uh, Palanadu and NTR and Eluru and the adjoining districts of north coastal uh, Tamil Nadu uh, uh, north coastal Andhra Pradesh are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall and one more thing uh, here we need to mention is that exceptionally heavy rainfall is also likely at one or two stations of uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh today as well as tomorrow exceptionally heavy rainfall means that the rainfall over the station uh, is, is record highest rainfall uh, uh, during the uh, during the uh, rainfall uh, data available with the available with the India Meteorological Department and here on, on day 2 the rainfall belt as we saw that the system would be moving northwards so the rainfall extremely heavy rainfall uh, belt would be shifting uh, northwards and over the uh, districts of uh, as we can see Prakasham, Bapatala, Krishna, West Godavari and, uh, and Eluru and uh, uh, Guntur and Palanadu may receive uh, extremely heavy rainfall and the uh, districts of uh, Nellore and Kadappa uh, very heavy rainfall and Kakinada, East Godavari and Alluri, Sitaram, Raju uh, 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 very heavy rainfall uh, by tomorrow and, and uh, tomorrow is the date of landfall of the system when the system would cross uh, uh, close to Bapatala which which is here around at the at the uh, 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 almost uh, central parts of coastal Andhra Pradesh and uh, here the system would cross and this would give rise to uh, strong winds of the order of 90 to 100 gusting to 110 uh, close to Bapatala and the winds in the interior districts of Andhra Pradesh would be of the order of uh, uh, 60 to 70 gusting to 80 kmph at the time of landfall and uh, also this uh, would affect the uh, uh, districts of Telangana which are adjoining to uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh as we can see here that uh, Nagar Kurnool, Nalagonda, Suryapet, Khammam and uh, uh, Kota Gudem uh, may receive isolated heavy rainfall today and tomorrow uh, isolated extremely heavy rainfall would be likely over the districts of Mulugu, uh, Kota Gudem and Khammam and the adjoining districts of uh, Hanum, Konda, Varangal, uh, uh, Mahbuba, uh, Bad and Suryapet may receive isolated uh, very heavy rainfall and also this system is going to impact South Odisha uh, South Odisha as well. So today isolated heavy rainfall activities likely over Malkangiri, Koraput, Raigada, Gajapati and Ganjam and tomorrow uh, it, it may receive isolated uh, uh, very heavy rainfall. The districts of Malkangiri, Koraput, Raigada, Gajapati and Ganjam may receive isolated very heavy rainfall and the adjoining districts of uh, Kandamal, Kalahandi and uh, Navarangpur may receive isolated heavy rainfall. So uh, uh, and day after tomorrow the rainfall activity over Odisha would uh, definitely decrease so here we can see the fisherman uh, uh, warning graphics and here we can see that the currently the system is having uh, wind speed of the order of 85 to 95 gusting to 105 kmph uh, maximum sustained surface winds and uh, uh, over over the west central bay of bengal and adjoining uh, uh, adjoining parts of uh, uh, adjoining parts of uh, uh, coastal andhra pradesh and and also the adjoining parts of southwest bay of bengal is having slightly less 
lesser winds of the order of uh, of the order of 70 to 80 kmph gusting to 90 kmph and this wind speed uh, over this region of uh, west central bay of bengal and adjoining parts of south west bay of bengal would continue till tomorrow after uh, tomorrow forenoon uh, till the time of landfall of the system so and and this one uh, tells about the storm surge height uh, the storm surge of the order of 1 to 1.5 meter above the uh, astronomical tide is likely over the over the uh, 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 region of the uh, over the region uh, at just uh, uh, around the around the uh, point of landfall that is uh, bapatala and uh, which which uh, uh, which we have mentioned in our bulletin district wise uh, uh, probable storm surge in uh, which 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 would be ranging in the range of 1 to 1.5 meter above the astronomical tide and these are the areas of north coastal tamil nadu and uh, and uh, and uh, 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 south coastal andhra pradesh and adjoining parts of rail sima which may uh, receive uh, which which are obviously uh, currently also uh, north coastal tamil nadu the areas adjoining to chennai are receiving heavy downpour and uh, and uh, uh, has affected uh, many civic amenities and uh, this is also going to affect uh, south coastal andhra pradesh and adjoining uh, adjoining uh, rail sima during next uh, 24 hours so that's all for today Tomorrow we will again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next 5 days. Thank you and goodbye.